Did you also fall for the marketing gimmick that activated charcoal toothpaste will whiten your teeth? So many have, but I'll start by saying that not all activated charcoal toothpaste are bad and towards the end of the video, if you still decide to use one, I'll tell you which one I recommend. Hi, I'm Dr. Capra, board certified pediatric dentist and mom who raised cavity free kids. I wanna share my knowledge with you so that you can do the same. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel, notifications turned on to make sure you're learning all about kids' teeth. Now let's get into this hot topic of activated charcoal. It's everywhere. It's a trend. What is activated charcoal? It's the same material as your grilling charcoal, mostly burnt wood. The difference is that activated charcoal is burned at a much higher temperature. So it makes a very fine powder, smaller particles, all right? And these particles have pores that act like traps, which bind toxins in your body. This is why it's mostly used in the medical field, especially in cases of moderate to severe poisoning, the activated charcoal, which you don't absorb, travels through your body, binding all of these toxins. But guess what? It also binds the good things in your body. It can bind vitamins and minerals. Let's say you're eating this healthy salad with vegetables and you're thinking you're getting all these nutrients in your body, but you accompany your lunch with an activated charcoal juice, you're not really absorbing all the food that you're eating. At the same time, it can make medication that you're taking less effective. Okay, so picture activated charcoal kind of like a minibus. Let's say you're swallowing a minibus and it's going through your system on its way out and it's picking up a bunch of passengers, good, bad passengers on the way out of your body. So I think that explains the concept of what activated charcoal is and how it works. Now, let's apply this concept to teeth. It's actually great. You know, does activated charcoal work to whiten your teeth initially? Yes, for the first couple of days, it's great at lifting and binding all those surface stains caused by wine, coffee, you know, colored foods and things like that. But at what expense? At the expense of your enamel. Why? Because activated charcoal toothpaste is highly abrasive, can be highly abrasive, not all of them are. So I'll show you an example here. This is a little tooth model. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I post a lot of educational content during the week. That's great, useful, short information that you'll like. So this is a healthy tooth, right? This outer surface is the enamel. This middle surface is the dentin. So the enamel is what you whiten. This is a part of the tooth that you see. Now what activated charcoal does or any other abrasive toothpaste is that it lifts off the surface stains from the outside, but it wears away your enamel. So what happens eventually is that it starts showing the second layer of your tooth, which is the dentin. And guess what? The dentin is actually darker. It's more yellow. So with time, studies have shown that using activated charcoal toothpaste or highly abrasive toothpaste will wear down your enamel. Your, the surface of the enamel is a lot rougher. And not only will you wear down your enamel, but your teeth will be extremely sensitive. And once your enamel is gone, it's gone. You can't grow enamel back. So you really need to take care of it. So now that we know activated charcoal, what it does, how it works, at what expense of the enamel, I want you to let me know what made you want to buy this. Was it the marketing that was really good? Were you aware of the benefits of activated charcoal, but you didn't know how abrasive it was? So in the comments below, let me know. And if there's something that I haven't talked about, but you'd like to know also, let me know, I'd be happy to answer that. So now let's talk about abrasiveness in toothpaste. How do we know? Well, first of all, it's something that we have to research. We have to Google why, because toothpaste labels are not required to disclose the RDA. Now, what is the RDA? RDA stands for relative dentin abrasivity. The higher the number, the more abrasive a toothpaste is, and then vice versa, the lower the number, you know, the less abrasive. Now, in order for a toothpaste to have the ADA seal of approval, the American Dental Association, it cannot be higher than 250. So here's a chart that has the RDA of commonly used toothpastes. If the one you're using is not there, just try calling a manufacturer and see if you can get that information. So this is very useful for you to know. I like staying in the lower range because I wanna take care of my enamel. So this is a good chart for you to look at next time you make a purchase. 
So remember I told you that not all charcoal toothpaste are bad? You can find a charcoal toothpaste that has a lower RDA. You just have to make sure you know what the RDA is. I don't normally use charcoal toothpaste, but if I were to use charcoal toothpaste, there is one from Curaprox called Black is White, and the RDA for this toothpaste is 76. That's pretty good and safe for your enamel. So now that you know what activated charcoal toothpaste is and you have all this information, how do you feel about this? I hope that I've encouraged you to read the labels. I also hope that I've encouraged you to be more aware of marketing tactics when you're shopping for your oral healthcare products. If you have any other questions or you would like me to make a video about any other topic, let me know in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you're subscribed so that you can learn all about kids' teeth.